This is Robert Plank from papertemplate.com and let's create some simple landing pages using WordPress without changing our theme. Whether we want to have a piece of paper looking template, whether we want to have a full width template with multiple stripes and colors, whether we want to have a sales letter, opt-in page and more, we're going to use this tool called papertemplate.com. We go to www.papertemplate.com, scroll to the bottom, there's a $7 and a $47 option. Uh, so the $7 version allows you to create a web page like this where it's a plain white piece of paper. And if we want to have the ability to have built-in headlines, a mobile responsive template, so see how here when we zoom in if you're on a phone or a tablet it uses the whole width I would recommend the $47 mobile responsive with multiple template version so click $47 get your account now we're inside of paper template we have the members area here for the ultimate edition and the instructions I'm gonna right click and save this WordPress plugin to our desktop so I'm saving this plugin to install on a WordPress site now the good news is that we can use any WordPress theme as our blog so here we have a site called membership newbie and we already have content for it so we can continue using our existing blog theme but we can create extra pages on the site and use them as WordPress landing pages or once we're ready we can actually have that page take over our entire site. I'll show you what I mean. We're going to go to the dashboard. I'll go plugins add new upload plugin choose file and we'll double click on the paper template and install now and put the paper template plugin on here. Activate the plugin. Plugin's been activated. If we go and check out paper template here there's a place to enter our information it automatically fills in and now we're ready to create our very first landing page and let me show you how easy this is we're just going to go to where it says paper template and we just go to new landing page and if we want to create a sales letter to collect orders left click on that give it a second to load and once this loads now we have a sales letter ready to go and what we can do is right now this is putting this at membership newbie slash sales dash page we can make this uh, you know slash offer let's make it slash special okay and we'll just save this and see what this gives us so we'll go and publish this view the page and now we're viewing our sales letter and we can delete things we don't want add things we don't want we have all the the entire template ready to go here Let's say we didn't like the font, we can just go to paper template font and play around until we get the look and feel that we want in this site. We can try out different fonts like we have here, for example. We can change some of those around. We can uh, go ahead and change the template to something that's more modern. If we don't like the piece of paper look and feel, we can uh, change that around. We can edit the page and we can add in those stripes those different colors and I can say I want this section to have the stripe there okay I want this other section to have a stripe there okay and then maybe we'll have a stripe right there as well and take up the slack there so what we can do now when we're playing around with our web page is we can view that page and if we don't like the we still don't like the font we can mess around a little bit there if we don't like the color scheme we can say well let's try some blue and gray all right that that looks different if we don't like the color scheme we can try some different uh, variations there until we get to the uh, the look and feel that we want if we don't like this button here we can say well I want the template to be the fusion template instead um, and and on and on you know if we wanted to have a uh, a template for uh, like a, a webinar replay or something we can say well let me use the the bare bones template and boom there we go now we have just a really clean looking template if we don't want to have a sales letter then we could go to this pre-written area and we can say well I want to have an opt-in page instead 
let that go and then now we have the very short template for an opt-in page and we can always customize or remove things we can have a webinar sign up link right there so that's how that template's going to look and um, we have a built-in swipe file so if we don't happen to like this headline we can change it up and just switch around and go through this huge swipe file and get it to the point where, uh, where we're happy with it. If we have a section and we want to remove most of the text and we want to have a list of bullet points we can just say I'm going to generate some bullet points I'm going to generate some bullet points I'm going to generate some bullet points so this paper template plugin allows you to create any kind of sales letter or opt-in page, webinar, sign-up page, video replay page, and more without you having to do all the coding, without you having to switch your theme, without you having to write headlines or bullet points. You just click around and it fills everything in. And then the best part is you can easily separate your um, your buy buttons. For example, let's say that I had a PayPal buy button at the bottom of my web page and then I go and I say well I want to put this at the bottom of my page and I'll say that I want to have an order button and I'll, sure, I'll say order now. Well I can save that and I can view the page and I don't have to mess around with any kind of fancy button code or anything. I can just have it uh, the button and it goes to the place I want it to go. If I put in a go to webinar sign up link or I put an opt-in form on there, well guess what? It is smart enough to figure all that out. If I say I'm going to have an opt-in page right there, okay, and I will go and grab, for example, uh, my autoresponder code from Aweber or MailChimp, I could just paste that right in there and check out the page there. I mean, let me grab one that's actually uh, my opt-in form. I can edit the page, go down to the call to action area right there, right click, put that in there, and then when I view the page again, there we go. Now I can customize this and I might need to change the colors, but this can work as a opt-in page, sales letter, and more. And if you want to have custom CSS header or footer code, or a custom title tag if you know what that is we can have that and as I said we can have it either cooperate with the navigation on our page or not you see how we had our regular blog here and we have this link where if someone wanted to go from our blog to a place where they want to buy from us they can click on this link and now they will end up on our opt-in page or on our sales letter well if I didn't want to have Whoops, if I didn't want to have that link from my blog over to my opt-in page or my sales letter, no problem. I could just uncheck the one checkbox to include the page in the site's navigation. So when I go back to the blog and refresh that again, now the landing page I created in WordPress without changing the theme now no longer appears. And as I said, if we want the landing pages we create to take over the entire site, we can say this opt-in page we just created, if I want this to now be the front door of my site, now I'm ready to roll it out, just check a single box to make this the front page of your entire site, save the changes, and now when I go to membershipnewbie.com, I go to the very front page, then there's the sales letter that takes over the entire site. So that's Paper Template, where you can click around and create any kind of WordPress landing page, sales letter, opt-in page, and more. So go to papertemplate.com to claim your copy right now.